You are what I'm looking for Hello my crafty friends. In today's video, I've kinda have no idea what I'm gonna do. There's a few things that I wanted to talk about, some projects that I wanted to make, and I figured we'd just craft and talk at the same time. For my project today, I'm going to be using this 12 by 12 pattern paper pack that I picked up from Michaels several years ago. And this is just regular scrapbooking paper. It's not thick stuff, it's single-sided. And it's nothing fancy, but I have a couple of ideas that I want to try. And I thought I would mess around with some of this paper and then kind of talk you through what's been going on in my life. I don't always share personal details about my life on my channel. Usually fairly small things, nothing, you know, too personal. And I've gotten a lot of comments lately about, you know, oh, Jenny, I've missed your videos. Where have you been? This and that. So I just kind of wanted to touch base a little bit about that, make a project, and uh, try to get myself back in the game. So I'm just flipping through here. I'm not 100% sure what I need. I know I'm going to need two pieces that are sort of a little bit different from each other. Um, Maybe with a bit of a gradient. They could be the same, actually. It doesn't have to be different. Let's try it with just the same paper. I just need to find something that's going to work. You know what? I'm going to start with this one. It's not something I'd normally use in my everyday crafting. So I'm going to see if I can make something out of this. So to get started, I'm going to grab a couple of tools and then settle in and I'll kind of talk and craft at the same time. Hopefully I'll see if I am able to do that. All right, so I've got some tools off to the side over here, some scissors and glue and things like that. And I have a paper trimmer that I'm going to use to help cut down this paper. So I'm just gonna open it up and start by cutting this piece of paper in half at six inches. All right, so where have I been? In the last six months, things have been a little hectic for my family. Um, I had to make a quick decision in order to move us into a larger home to be able to give some space for my two younger sons. A little backstory, um, my two younger sons are mine through marriage. They are just as much my own as my own child that I bore, who is now 21. Um, so my two younger sons have been living with my husband and I full-time for about two years now. Um, they are 11 and 14. And by the way, I've been with my husband for 10 years. So I've been with these kids since they were babies. I helped raise them. They are, as I said, just as much my own as my own son. So we moved into a bigger house to accommodate the boys as they grow to allow them to have their own rooms and some more space. Um, in our previous house, we had um, three bedrooms and a sort of a nanny suite in the basement. And I'm trying to figure out my math, how to split five and a half into two. So two and three quarters, I think. <laughs> I think. I don't think that's right. So it would be three and three quarters. Is that right? Well, let's see if that's three and a quarter. You get three and a quarter. Move that back out two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. Okay, so two and three quarters is half of this. So I've scored at half an inch and two and three quarters. And then I'm going to rotate and I'm going to score at, let's say, seven inches and see if this works. So, okay, so where was I? My, yes, in my previous house, we had three bedrooms, and one of those bedrooms was my craft space. So it was a craft room, and uh, we moved into that house because the boys were coming to live with us, and I definitely measured that wrong. <laughs> so um, I'm kind of getting a little... 
there's too much information to share. Anyways, okay, so the boys needed their own rooms, which means I had to sacrifice my craft room. We ended up finding a house that has a sort of open concept loft area, and the previous homeowners were using it as like a media room, and it's open to the rest of the house and the top of the stairs. So when you come up the stairs, um, they're very uh, open high ceiling stairs when you come up the stairs you're right into my craft room and then to the left is the master bedroom and then to the right is the boys bedroom and their bathroom so um all that to say um it's very open there's a lot of noise that goes on especially you know i have a family i have my mother who lives in my basement she has her own little ensuite apartment down there and then i have the two boys, my husband, and a dog. My oldest son uh, lives with his girlfriend, and um, he's not at home anymore. I kind of miss him, but it's kind of nice um, that the house is not so full and we're overcrowded. I don't mean it actually like that. I, I really miss my son being home. It's a double-edged sword. Anyways, I'm kind of getting off topic. I don't think this is going to give me what I want, really. Um, I'm going to try to cut this part off and see if I really hope by the end of all this we'll have a project that I can explain to you what it's for. Um, I think actually that would be better. Yes, that's better. And then this would be even better than better. Uh, and then I'll just fold that a little bit more. So if I did... This isn't making any sense. All right, let's just roll with this guy and this guy. They're not the same size. I'm gonna try that again. All right, I'm gonna take this piece back. I'm gonna take my second piece and start back again at six inches and cut it in half and see if that's gonna give me the result I want. All right, so where was I? Uh, older son moved out, two boys at home. It's hard for me to get peace and quiet. Um, so that's one thing. On another note, I have a very high stress job and my daily job. I, I love it. Uh, it is, you know, what I want to do with my life. I work with a construction company. I am the administrative director and it carries a lot of weight and responsibility. So I find that over the last six months with my job being so strenuous and you know, it's, it's a lot of work. By the time I come home, I'm exhausted. So I'm exhausted. Uh, I have a YouTube channel that is, you know, pretty much waiting on me and I'm struggling and I'm struggling to meet the requirements and also have some sort of resemblance of a life. So that's kind of the gist of, you know, kind of where I'm going with this. And I think I figured this out. Basically, this is going to be a little quadruple pocket. So there'll be a little pocket and a little pocket and a little pocket and a little pocket. Actually, I think it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets. It'll be seven pockets in this little tiny thing by the time I'm done. So, so yeah, that's kind of where I've been, what's been going on, why I haven't really been able to upload between, you know, the noise in the house, the high stress job, I'm super tired by the end of the day, and then add in some other personal factors. I am, uh, I struggle with anxiety and mental health. So um, that in itself causes a lot of problems for me. Um, I feel sometimes I put too much pressure on myself and then I disappoint myself and I worry about disappointing other people. And, you know, I, my family's happiness is important to me. Um, you know, it's in my goal in life daily are to make people around me happy. And I can't do that if I'm not happy. And if I'm stressed out and anxious and nervous and feeling like I let people down, it hinders me from, you know, kind of moving forward with 
progress and then I procrastinate and then I find excuses about why I can't do things and is it really the noise in the house or is it that I feel like I've let people down? Is it, you know, really the high stress job or is it that I'm lazy? I don't think that's the case, to be quite honest. I, um, this isn't going to fit. Let's try that again. Try another. I'm going to punch little finger notches and I need a different punch. So considering all of these factors add into anxiety and the desire to please other people, add into this health issues. Um, recently, I suffered from a pretty not so fun bout of diverticulitis. Um, that was horrible. It was painful and I suffered a lot. Um, I missed a couple of weeks of work. I spent a lot of time in bed, not being able to eat or move or do anything. So that's just a horrible thing. And then once that was done, I also have a thyroid disease, a B12 deficiency and anemia. Um, all of those things combined also make me tired. So it's really hard to find a balance. Like it, in all honesty, it is really hard to balance, you know, a normal lifestyle and an active lifestyle or a lifestyle that I'm happy with because there's just so many factors that play a huge role in my daily life. And this punch just sucks. All it's doing is eating my paper. So I'm not very happy with that. I just want to get through one more punch. I feel like this is my life. It's like you try and you try and you try again and it still doesn't work. <laughs> and you barely get through it with a few scars. I mean, I don't want this video to be a pity party or, you know, woe is me type of video. I'm really not the type of person that wants people to feel sorry for me. Um, I want to, you know, move forward and progress and succeed and do well and have my family do well and you know enjoy my crafty time I want to be able to enjoy that I don't want it to feel like it's so much pressure that I'm letting people down and that's what I realized that I need to stop doing I need to stop putting that kind of pressure on myself and allow myself to be free creatively to create what I want when I want. But I also love the community of YouTube. I love, you know, that you guys enjoy my my videos and that I'm teaching you something that you want to learn. And I love that. So I'm going to do my best to try to put my big girl pants on and uh, focus more of my attention on being creative and sharing it with you and also finding time where I can record and talk at the same time. For me, it makes the videos go faster. This one obviously is not going to be super fast because I've done nothing but fold a few pieces of paper and talk and um, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is, but I don't even remember what I was saying. I got sidetracked there. I was thinking. So basically what I need to do is force myself to get in my crafty space, play with my stuff. If I come up with ideas, flip on the camera, record when I can, voice over when, you know, kids are sleeping and it's quiet or kick them all out of the house, make them build a snowman and give me some quiet time. So I'm going to do my best to make that happen for you guys and for my own self too, because I've worked really hard at building my YouTube channel and I don't want to let that slide. I don't want to let that disappear. It's an accomplishment that, you know, I've, I've strived really hard to achieve and I want to get my channel to 100,000 subscribers. I feel like that's my goal. I want a silver YouTube play button on my wall so that when everyone asks me, what do you do for a living? I don't say administrative director. I say I'm a YouTube content creator. So enough of that backstory. I hope that, you know, if you're not interested in any of this information, you know, skip the video to the crafty part. So let's get down to the crafty part. So I've created two six inch pieces of pattern paper. They're six by six inches. I've scored about a half an inch on one edge and then two and three quarters uh, to create the little fold, glued it together as you saw. And now here I've got the piece of paper folded. This one is folded at four and a quarter. 
and this one is folded at three and a half. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you kind of get the idea where this is headed. So I'm gonna apply some adhesive to close these little babies up and create little pockets. I'll come back and distress this a little bit so that you can see, you know, actually I should probably do that before. Let's do that first. I'm gonna distress this first. I have some Distress Oxide Vintage Photo and I'm going to distress the edges so that there's a variation in the pocket so that you can see it when it's backed up against the other piece. Kind of like that. Not kind of like that, but like that. And wherever you're going to see the ink, I'm going to add a little bit of Distress Ink to it. I'll do the same to this one. And this is just a fun little project to play around with. Obviously, I had no plan coming in here. I just started folding up a piece of paper because I wanted to talk and give you a little bit of uh, kind of backstory as to what's going on in the world of Jenny Cart Designs. So, here we go. Four pockets ready. Also, there's another thing I wanted to touch base with. I struggle with all of the new things. I I can't afford, I've got kids, man. I can't afford to be buying stuff every week. I can't afford to be buying crafts and putting them in my shelf and not using them ever like I have. I have tons of stuff that I've bought and never used because, you know, that's part of crafting. It's part of the whole addiction buying stuff because you see it. It's the newest and greatest thing. It looks so cool. I spend a hundred bucks, I make one card and put it away. And is that really practical? I mean, really? No, it's not. And that's kind of um, my guilt also, you know, like that money could be going into savings or it could be going into, oh my gosh, the ridiculous cost of groceries. I mean, I have all boys, all my boys eat everything. Groceries cost us probably $2,000 a month to feed these monsters. And, you know, it's not cheap. And for me to spend money frivolously, I mean, if it's something I really want and love and can't live without, then I can buy it. But if it's something that's similar to what I already have, I need to start shopping my own stash, looking through my stuff, chopping up paper. I'm guaranteed to find stuff that I bought and never used, and it'll kind of be like a therapy for me, like pretend I went shopping in my own craft room. So if many of you are like me, I'd like to hear. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to do my best. Um, part of my goal on YouTube is to communicate with you all more. I always see the comments. I see them. I read them. Um, sometimes I don't like them. I'm going to be honest. If I make a grammar mistake, I don't need to be corrected. You know, I'm 40 years old. If my grammar isn't perfect by this time, it's never going to be. So save the you know, grammar comments, you know, like, I don't, I don't need grammar police trolling my page. I, and I mean, some people say these things in, out of the kindness of their heart, or some people just can't help themselves. I just like to avoid negativity, you know, and when somebody makes a comment about something that I've done that's wrong, um, I, I feel stupid. And you know, that kind of eats away at me and I don't want to feel stupid. Nobody wants to feel like that. So if you don't have nothing nice to say, like literally nothing nice, then don't, don't say nothing. You know, that's just how I feel about that. That's my little rant. I'm not a ranter. I don't ever typically rant on my page about comments because I do. I love the feedback. I love that people are in the crafty community, you know, reaching out to one another and supporting each other. But let's, let's try to support each other. Let's not tear each other down, you know? Um, I don't know. That's just how I feel about that. So um, I'm not usually typically one to speak my mind. I, I mean, I am in some senses when, it, when I feel that it's necessary. But when I feel like it's just drama and it's not worth the fight, I choose my battles. Uh, I let a lot of things slide and go. But when, you know, when it when I feel like my integrity is at in jeopardy or, you know, 
my reputation or something like that, of course I'm going to speak up and speak my mind. But on something silly like, you know, I spelled a word wrong or, you know, I said them instead of they or I don't know. I can't even think of an, of an example because when you're crafting and recording, I just speak. I just talk. I don't think about it. Just whenever it comes to my head, I just start talking. So sometimes I say stuff that is ridiculous. Sometimes I laugh at myself. And that's just part of being human, you know? Anyways, okay. This little baby pocket is done. I'm really excited about that. There are lots of different ways that you can step this up. You can stamp on it. Um, this would be great if you're really rich and you want to give someone a whole bunch of gift cards. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> This would hold seven gift cards. Um, I'm not that person. I'm the type of person that's going to put seven tags inside of here. You know, um, one gift card is plenty for anyone, I believe. And I also believe that gifts are the thought that counts. You know, I come from a generation where I'm going to get some scraps and continue my project and then I'll continue talking. So I made a huge mess, but I found what I was looking for. Um, I got some shipping tags and some ephemera that I have in this cute little box. I got this from Michaels and I barely ever dig into this, but there's so many cute little bits and bobs and neat little findings in here that I feel like we'll be able to decorate this little pocket very um, vintage vibe feeling. So I was saying that I come from a generation where... Um, we had to wait, you know, all year round for one thing that we wanted all year, you know, like my parents would say, you know, what did you want for Christmas or what are you going to ask Santa for? We were, we were believers in Santa in our house and uh, once a year we would get one special thing. You know, my parents didn't have a lot of money. My parents were honest, hardworking people. We weren't spoiled by any means. Uh, our birthdays were special days and Christmas Day was a special day. Now in the generation I find that people buy whatever they want when they want it. They don't have to wait, you know, Amazon next day. You want something, you buy it. I'm, I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of indulging in that pleasure and um, I think the entire world is. I think everybody is on that train. Like, so when, you know, the kids, when they want something, Especially this generation, I feel like everyone just expects to get what they want. And I don't know. I don't even know what got me on that, but I don't I don't like that. I don't I think that gifts oh that's what it was, gifts. Right. Gifts should be, you know, from the heart, something thoughtful, not like, oh hey, what can I get you? Give me a list of all the things that you want and I'm gonna buy them all because I mean, what's the purpose of that, really? Like that's just that's just marketing. That's just commercialism, really. That's just, you know, companies wanting us to watch ads and buy all their stuff. Now, I know my YouTube channel has ads. Um, I specifically add them to my videos because it helps me make a really tiny, tiny amount of money. I have my own product line that I sell on my website. I have some affiliate links where I get a tiny, you know, I think eight or 10% commission from some products that you buy. Sometimes I link products I don't, I'm not affiliate with, I just use them. So, you know, why not share them with you? And uh, I'm not typically this kind of crafter. I don't make these types of videos and talk and go on and on. I, I kind of keep getting sidetracked and I have a really good valid point and then I lose what I'm saying. So uh, it'll come back to me. I'll keep going here. I have some little Tim Holtz people. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. <laughs> um, oh, a little boy and his doggo. Yeah, I like that guy there. Okay, perfect. So, uh, yeah, commercialism, ads, uh, ads on my channel. That's where I was headed. Now, I know that YouTube offers where you can pay a premium monthly subscription and you can avoid ads. Now, content creators do get a tiny little kickback off of that. Like, we're talking pennies on, you know, hundreds of views, to be honest, but maybe even less, maybe pennies on thousands of views. But my YouTube channel 
supports, you know, like sometimes it helps pay for some of the crafts that I buy. Never all of it because, you know, crafting is expensive. Um, but so I've decided I have made a conscientious choice to going forward as of yesterday to not place ads in the middle of my video. When you come to watch my channel, I want you to watch the video. I want you to watch the content. I want you to enjoy. And I don't want you to be interrupted by like, you know, a pop up being like, hey, buy this or download this game or, you know, I don't want you to have to go through that. So I will continue to place ads at the beginning and the end of my video because, you I mean, that's just helps support my channel. It helps fund product to buy and things like that and it keeps me relevant with YouTube. Now if you want to watch those ads you can watch them. If you don't want to watch it you can skip it too. It's not a big deal to me. It's not going to make or break you know my grocery bill and same with buying any affiliate links that I leave. It's not going to provide a living for me. It's not really going to change my life around unless I had, you know, millions and millions of views and my name was Jennifer McGuire and I, you know, lived off of YouTube. Maybe that will be different. But for now, so uh, all that to say, I'm not going to put ads in the middle of my videos anymore. I'm going to allow those to be ad free. And uh, I hope that maybe you'll appreciate that and spend some time on my channel, actually watching my videos and uh, enjoying them. So yeah, that's where we're at. I'm just digging through. I've got this, this says receipts on it, but I'm pretty sure this is the Stamperia Rose Perfume Ephemera. I'm like a thousand percent sure. It's exactly what it is, yeah. So I've got all these fun little bits and bobs and things I've cut up from a paper collection. So this kind of doesn't really match, but I do like that little white daisy. It's very neutral. So I'm going to set that aside. So I'm done with my Tim Holtz people and I'm done with my not receipts. Let's see about a ticket. I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. It says tickets, but who knows? That is a belly band. So definitely not a ticket. This is little bits and bobs. I don't know what that is. These are some printed ephemera and fussy cutout items. There's a ticket. This is more like postcards, tags, things like that. I don't think anything's really gonna match my little project here. Oh, I have some vintage little um, ad thingies. I don't really know. Um, that's kind of funny. Uh, I don't know what this is or who that is, but cool. I don't know. I've always been a stationary lover. I love stationary and I, and I collect it like a sicko. I have so much of it and I make stuff all the time too. So I'm sure you've seen in my videos, all the things that I've made and shared with you all. This is fairly neutral. We can put this guy in there in one of those pockets. Oh, and it says dog on it. That's perfect for the little dog. We're going to slide him right in the first pocket. Okie dokie. I have another sort of ticket. This is a big one. I'm going to I'm gonna stop with the ticket. I got one ticket. I think, you know, we were lucky to find that one. Um, and we're good. Actually, I like this little coffee dyed distressed strip of tickets. I'm going to add that in with this one in that little pocket. Okay, so we're going to call it quits with this one. This tickets and receipts and ephemera style stuff. And see what else we can come up with. This one is words. So these are all little um, words and things that I fussy cut out and printed or pieces of pattern paper that had something on it that I saved. There is beauty in simplicity. That's nice. I'm going to put that in there. I like that because it's on like a little note paper. Here is a stamped something or other you could write on the back. Let's put that in there. Okay, it looks good. It's very neutral, so. Um, note to self. <laughs> oh, I forgot um, our little daisy up there. 
Okay. Be kind. You know what? The world needs more of that. Be kind. When you leave comments on YouTube to people who are working hard, uploading their content, be kind. You know? It's not easy. You know what is easy? Being kind. That's easy. Okay. Very nice. All right. Kindness. See, that matters. Kindness matters, everybody. Also, strive for greatness. I can and I will strive for greatness. Let's put that in, in here. I like that. All right. Let's take a peek at what else we have. And I think we're just going to call this done. But I wanted to show you what else I have in this little package of fun. So I have some acetate flowers. So it's just so many different little, I don't know, hundreds of little acetate flowers. Something I picked up off of Timu or something. But uh, yeah, so also a side note, Timu. Mm, no, no thanks. To put this one. I like that. Let's put him there. Got sidetracked there for a second. I'm going to show you the last one and then I'm going to talk about Timu for a second. This one is a stamps, washi stamps. So there are tons and tons. I love these. I'm so addicted to these. Tons and tons of little washi sticker stamps, but they're really big. Like they're big washi sticker stamps. These are like, I don't know, two inches by two and a half. Yeah, two by two and a half inches. One and three quarters by two and a half inches. But they're really cute and I love them and there's so many of them. I have so many more little ephemera bits and bobs like this. And uh, if you like this stuff, I'll show you more of what I've got. Um, but this one is just sort of my little quick at the ready sort of box of stuff. It began as a disagreement. There's a cat fight with a beer bottle. How strange is that? <laughs> All right. Let's get away from there. And I'm going to glue down these couple of things here. And then I'll talk about Timu for a sec. So Timu. What is Timu? Timu is a website um, that has taken over the world. I, I think I got caught up in Timu. Now, I was getting free product from them in order to share videos and create content. And, you know, I just felt like, I don't know. I didn't stand behind the brand is basically what I'm trying to say. You know, it's a Chinese company. It's nothing wrong with that. You know, I just feel like um, I should be investing my money locally into local businesses um, and keeping my money here instead of spending it and encouraging you to spend it, you know, basically to another country and have things shipped in for a cheap product. Just like we're selling our souls. I decided to stop working with Timu. I'm not saying that they're bad or they did anything wrong or anything like that, but I, I did notice that some of their product wasn't theirs. It was, you know, ripped off designs from other, you know, American companies or Canadian companies. And I don't, I don't like that. You know, there's a lot of controversy and I understand, you know, like you buy what you can afford. You do you. And I'm not telling anyone else what they can or can't do or anything like that. But for me, I decided that I would no longer support that sort of crafting. I do have a bunch of, you know, things that I bought from Timu or that they sent me and things like that. Um, but I've decided to keep my money local, uh, invest in North America and the great, beautiful country that she is or countries. And uh, yeah, so I'm not saying I'll never buy anything from overseas ever again. I'm not definitely not saying that. Um, I feel like as a crafter, if companies are stealing other companies designs, I don't want to support that. I don't want to be caught up in that sort of drama is basically what I'm saying. You know what I mean? But again, I'm not stopping anybody else from making their purchases or their decisions. You do you, boo. You know, like it is what it is. I'm going to do me. You're going to do you. If you want to watch me do me, I'm happy to share that with you. So all that to say, I don't know how long we've been here, but we've been here a while and we made this fun little pocket. 
this is a great little addition to a journal or if like I said if you wanted to add gift cards or something like that but this was just fun to make I just really enjoyed that it's very neutral it could go you know in any sort of uh, project no specific theme dog theme would be good so my goal for my YouTube channel, I really want to focus on shopping in my stash, using what I have, focus on my Chop It Up videos. I'm actually going to start creating a book and I'll work through that process with you. I'm going to create my own little idea book. So I have this book that I picked up from Michaels and I'm going to start recreating all the projects that I created with Chop It Up and glue them into the book. So it gives me ideas. And if you want to follow along with me, you can do the same thing. You can get a book and start with me and we'll do it together. We'll build a idea book of chop it up projects that you can make so that whenever you want to go back to it you'll have it there and I'll do my best to see about printables for this I don't know I don't want to make any promises or put any pressure on myself that I can't adhere to but that's the idea and that's what I'd like to do so I hope that you'll join along with me hope that you've enjoyed you know learning a little bit about the the chaotic life my thoughts and ideas on things and uh, if you haven't subscribed and you like you know the content or you like the ideas that I've had jump in subscribe click the notification bell be notified when I upload content and you can join in the crafting with me so thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend however many minutes here with me yakking away I really appreciate you being here Coming up on screen are some playlists. One in particular is my absolute favorite, the Chop It Up series. We are well over 100 videos in this series with tons and tons of ideas to chop up your pattern paper. Check those out, join along the fun if you want to join in on my idea book creation. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear whatever you have to say. I'll do my best to respond and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.